My profile picture is not a fucking mistake. Let's not be mistaken. It took me 30 years to get to Vatican, the capital of Catholic Church, as you know, the, Catholic, the, the capital of Christianity, as you know, to get to this sculpture I saw when I was 14 years old. And I thought to myself, I was 14, 15, what a beautiful sculpture. And it's fucking huge and it's amazing. And I thought to myself, what's the story behind it? What's these three guys and snakes? And I started reading about it. And it's a story of a fisherman father and, uh, and two sons and blah, 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 Trojan War. They saw the Greeks didn't go back to Greece and they ran back to Troy to say the Greeks are hiding behind the island. And Poseidon sent those fucking snakes to kill them. So... What is so fucking special about it? Well, I'll tell you my interpretation of this fucking sculpture I've been thinking about for 40 years. And it took me 30 years to travel to Vatican. I don't fucking remember 10 days in Rome. My wife tells me at the time that I was maniac. I don't remember being maniac. I don't remember. Our apartment was a block away from Spanish steps, if you know what I mean. It's like the center. Apartment costs two thousand dollars a night. I don't remember a fucking day. I remember Caravaggio paintings in churches, and Vatican, Sixteen Chapel, very well. I spent the whole day, and this. I don't remember ten days in Rome. I don't remember any dinners or lunches. So my interpretation of this sculpture, after forty years of thinking it, and using it as a profile picture. This is the reason, what is depicted, what you're looking at is the nature of biological life of the, in the universe. This is virus consuming your eyeballs and you're going to go blind and there is nothing you can do about it. In fact, this sculpture tells a story that no matter what you do, you fart, you eat, you give, you take, you contribute, you distribute, no matter what you fucking do, you're fucked. And as I think about it, people try their best. And I know amazing people who try their best, best, best. And they fuck, they fuck it up by trying their best, having the best ideas, having the best concepts, contributing to the family, to community, to, com to the city. And 10 years go by, they fucked up everything. But the ideas were amazing. <laughs> to improve the city, to improve our health, to give us fucking, I don't know, health insurance or shit, or to, to pump oil and to have, use oil as an energy for, for us, you know, to move around for cars, you know, or use coal. It was a great idea, you know, to steam and, and the whole industry and the textile industry, you know, pump water out of, out of coal mines. That's how it all started, very simple. To build the pump, to pump the water from coal mines. Makes sense. 200 years go by, there is no air to breathe. You need to buy air in bottles. You can actually buy fucking fresh air in the bottle. That's the result of this so-called, you know, <laughs> revolution. <laughs> you know, we're so fucking proud of microscopes so you can see the fucking virus. And there's nothing you can do about it. Nothing. Even if you try your best to overcome your psychiatric conditions, your fucking whatever you got, I don't know, depression, shit, blah, 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 addiction, and you will come out clean and you will try your best and you will save people from starvation in Africa and you will... You will give blood every month to, you know, to like give blood to Red Cross. I don't know. You fuck up. If you think about it, if you analyze the results of your actions, it's a disaster. At the end of your life, even if you're leaving an inheritance to your children, one billion dollars, in the end of your life, you will look and you will think, I tried my best. I really did. But the whole shit went astray. I don't even fucking understand how it happened. So this is what the sculpture is about. 
because father, the fisherman and his sons, you know, they're Trojans, they're Turkish. And the Greeks are fighting their city, trying to fuck them up for 10 years. So he's doing the right thing. But he doesn't know that the Poseidon is on the side of the Greeks because the king of the leader of the corporate corporate Greek city. What they what they don't know is that the the that the Poseidon is on the side of the Greeks. What Laocon father, the fisherman, this guy, big guy, doesn't know that Poseidon, the god, which is sea forces. What is the force of sea symbol? What is a Poseidon in Greek mythology? I understand you're not learning in mythology. I am. Poseidon is a force of nature related to water and earthquakes. <laughs> So in Greek mythology, water is not related to Aphrodite. In Indo-European or pre-Indo-European people, where I come from, from the great steppes of Russia, this is where the Greeks came from, by the way. The Greeks came to Greece from Bulgaria and they came from Ukraine. So Sparta and Greece were established by Russians, by Ukrainians, to be more precise, by people like me. So this fuck face you're looking at, this is the fuck face of a Gamenon gold mask they found, three to five thousand year old gold mask. This is how the guy looked like. Okay, he came from Russia, and they buried him one thousand years before Trojan War. By the way, Schliemann was incorrect, and we all know that. The point I'm trying to say, this is one of the most important sculptures in human civilization for this specific reason. You think you got your destiny by the balls, you think. But what you don't know, that your wife, when she was born, she was a favorite of Aphrodite. Aphrodite blessed her with tremendous beauty and with very special talents to be, to be negotiable, to be a skillful manipulator, because that's what women are. Okay, and these are gifts of Aphrodite. You understand? Her voice is beautiful. She's blah, 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 blah. and she is, you know, supportive, spiritual. She listens and she understands. She's a great woman. You understand? And years go by, your children grow up and they go to college, and you pay for college, and everybody's happy. But somewhere there, you know, when she gets to menopause. You know how women are. So she gets a little dry, she doesn't want to have sex. And then somebody tells you that they saw her 10 years ago. She told you she was in Paris, but someone tells you they saw her in, in Dominican Republic with gigolos that American women pay $50 to, to entertain erotically American tourists and you're like kind of full of shit but I should have looked at the credit cards but I'm not gonna check my wife you know the, I was busy our kids were going to school you know I didn't realize I thought she went to Paris with her sister for a week so she went to all these years she went to Dominican Republic and she paid for sex you're like shocked and she doesn't want to have sex with me for five years that's my my life okay i'm telling you my marriage 14 years of marriage so you come to a conclusion what should i do well she's a good woman you know she's beautiful she's good she's smart she's very smart you have a good life on a big picture you just need to jerk off with some porn because she doesn't want to have sex because she has a monopause or whatever. So what do you do when you realize your whole fucking marriage of 14 years, my marriage, is a fraud? It was a fraud from the beginning. What do you do? I tried my best. You tried your best. You stayed married, you were, you know, good, as good as you could. So this is what the sculpture is about. 
about trying the best. This Laukan guy was running back to his city to say that the Greeks are still here and they're going to 